Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elm Creek here in Farming Simulator 22. Or certainly a very different looking Elm Creek to the one you've been previously used to in this series. Uh, the reason for that is um, I have decided to kind of end the Let's Play series I was working on or have been working on recently because I'm also playing this map in multiplayer. This is my multiplayer map. This is my server map. And as a result, I thought it seems a bit silly to do play twice on the same map when I could just use one save and produce all the content that I need to from that save, either my Let's Play videos like this or my Twitch streams. So I decided as, you know, I really hadn't made a great deal of progress in the Let's Play series. You know, I owned the land down in this corner. Uh, we had a few little bits set up, but I hadn't really kind of expanded from this area of the map at all in my Let's Play series. And there wasn't really a lot beyond, you know, basically I spent more time mowing the bloody grass over here on this bit of land than I did anything else. So that's why I figure it's probably more beneficial jump on the server and do saves from here on the server because this map has a lot more progress made on it. Uh, in fact, actually, it looks like we've done all the harvesting. <laughs> have we done all the straw collecting? Because hmm. we'll have to see what needs doing. I'm going to have to have a run round quickly just to let the map synchronise. That's the one drawback to the multiplayer map. Every time I load it up, I've got to spend five minutes running around the map to get it all correctly synced. So when I go into this screen, everything loads correctly. Um, there's still a load of straw that needs to be um, picked up. We've got potatoes growing over here. Um, looks like someone's done weed spraying, which is very bad because that gives you a 15% penalty to your yield. Or can do. It turns out that if you spray the weeds when they are at full growth like this, that's when you get the biggest um, penalty, the biggest loss. Um... If you spray them when they're small, you get the less penalty. You get the lower penalty, but you still get a penalty. Um, so, yeah, swings and roundabouts. So, like, yeah, you wouldn't want to be spraying these because that would give you that would absolutely crush this field in terms of its 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 yield. Right, looks like we've got canola over here. So we, we was looks like we, we we were in the process of picking up the straw following the harvest, or at least that's what it looks like the player was doing yesterday who was on the server. So I can carry on and do that. Now, I'll give you the quick rundown of the farm in a minute and a bit of a tour around the farm. If you've not seen it already from my... Um, review video that I did of this map. Um, just going to come over here quick because I put the greenhouses in yesterday. Last time I was on so, so yeah, we've got four greenhouses over here on this land ready for producing our vegetables. We've also got um, some cell points placed um, to give us a bit more choice about where we sell our crops and stuff once we've harvested them and everything. And yeah, still day one on the map, still day one August, because we had to restart the map and restart the save because uh, the map got updated, try and fix some of um, bugs and issues with it, which unfortunately required a new save. Unfortunately, I've just learned today, just learned today that some of the bugs haven't been fixed or are still present in this version of the map. And... The map author is still trying to 
find the cause of the most um the most um uh the the biggest bug the most damaging bug which is the one that prevents you from being able to sleep and fast forward time after a certain point um and causes the um the map to crash and causes the server to crash as well if you're uh, if you've got the map loaded on the server he's still trying to find a the fix for that um so he has sent me a message today actually saying that he's currently working on rebuilding the map again and he's trying a few different things this time to hopefully fix the um the crashing situation yes we have got quite a uh, a bit of stuff so we've got obviously we've got a house over here and then we've got um quite a uh, menagerie of vehicles and equipment we've got our hoe our roller jcb fast couple of fast tracks one with the little one with the fertilizer we've got our wind rower our tedder our baler we've got a couple of grass rollers because obviously we own quite a few grass fields in fact we own quite a lot of the map at this point <laughs> we own a lot of the map um so yeah we've got vehicles kind of kicking about uh, Why is he using my loadie wagon? Mr. Elvis Fent in here. Has he been doing mulching? I wonder. Yeah, he's mulched a couple of fields. It looks like. Although, weirdly, Field 7 seems to have a bit of an issue. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's this moment in time, we don't have the animals in the animal pens. Unfortunately, we did have animals, but we haven't re-added them since the server, since I've redone the save on the server. So this field needs to be... Um, mulched I'm not sure why some of it's limed and He's bowing. Hmm. Okay. I will figure out what's going on. <laughs> it's the one tiny little problem of not having spoke to the other player. Probably make that even smaller. So it's not terribly in the way. So I can probably close it for now. Right, so I need to pick up more straw, basically, at this point. And then we'll start worrying about prepping fields and getting stuff seeded although like I say I'm a little bit I'm just kind of in two minds because I don't really want to do too much on this map now having found out that um, unfortunately 
it still has the crash problem the the fast forward time issue and um, it can strike at any point it tends to happen it tends to happen more once you've got the animals before you before we added animals before we added the animals we never had a problem with the map the the very first version of the map when it first came out we didn't have any issues with that map at all until we bought the animals then we got crashing and we couldn't sleep we couldn't fast forward time we couldn't advance to the next day you know the save was completely busted at that point so we started with um map version 1.4 i updated the map the you know 1.004 which had bug fixes and stuff we restarted the save started a brand new save made a whole load of progress again on this particular um map and once again as soon as we added the animals to the pens at the farm that's when we got the crash now originally it was believed that this was being caused by the modded animal pens certainly when we was when i was involved in map testing for the current version of the map um this one um it seemed like it was the modded animal pens if you use the giant's pens the vanilla game pens it didn't cause a problem or so we thought it turns out that even with the giant's default pens the crash still occurs it just doesn't happen straight away uh which is that which is makes it very difficult to um bug fix it i suppose for the map maker because it doesn't happen at a certain time on a certain date there are other players who say they've not, never had the game crash they've never had a problem but when you've further questioned them about it it turns out they're not playing with seasons they're not playing with um the like um the seasonal transition the graphic transition um so it makes you wonder if the bug is is something seasons related um and it, because if you're not playing like say if you're not playing with seasons it seems like it doesn't cause any issue you don't get the the, the issue so it's, it's obviously some it's a crash that's obviously being caused at some point when the game is transitioning between either one season or another sorry about that folks interruption there by a family member right let's carry on picking up the straw and like i say we'll worry about the bugs when eventually they happen i'm just forewarning people that what you see now like i say if we get a new map if we get an updated map drop in the future i'm probably gonna have to um restart the save and the server again so um it'll probably be uh a bit of a repeat session <laughs> you know what i'm almost tempted I am almost tempted, folks, to bail it. Because we're just selling it anyway. I can probably transport more straw more quickly from a baler than using the loading wagon. I will finish I'll load this trailer up we'll take this trailer load and then we'll get we'll get rid of said trailer we'll park it back up I'll then grab the baler and I'll come out and I'll bale what's left of the straw on these fields
96%. Just need a little bit to deal with this trailer. Then we'll uh, take it on its way. Job done. So yes, we've got a potato harvest to do in the future on this field here. We have a field with cotton on it as well. Um, that wasn't the case previously. In the previous versions of the map, that field did not start with cotton. So, um, we'll harvest it, but we'll have to lease the harvester because we don't have our own we don't have our own cotton equipment because it's not something we'd actually got into prior to doing the map restart and the map rebuild so yeah i'm gonna go grab the baler i think because then i can just um smash out a load of bales I can carry 24 bales at a time on my bale collector. So. Much, much better. So, yeah. Pull the loading wa wagon back in its little shed here. Let me go. Grab the bale. I'm just using my Magnum now. And I know it's my Magnum because it's got my number plate on it. <laughs> uh, the other player on the server, he's got his own tractor. He has a Fent. He likes the Fent. Um, he's got a Fent. Like I said, we have got the two JCBs. Um, previously, on the previous version of the map we played, the previous save, it was a Massey Ferguson. We had, we had two of these magnums in the starting equipment we had a massive a uh, large massive ferguson and then we had the jcb fast track and then we bought a little new holland which had um narrow tires as well just to assist when we're doing mowing and things Yeah, we'll give it a uh, we'll give it a proper bailing session. Unfortunately, can't do it with course play because we don't have course play on the server, so I can't instruct course play to do any kind of um, assistance in terms of bale collecting or anything like that. Um, sadly, we do have auto drive now on the server. But as of yet, I've not set up or recorded any road networks. In fact, I don't actually think it prompted me. When I lo loaded in to do a road network. I don't think he even let me load the existing one. I do like this Vicon fast bale. It tends to be my go-to um, baler. You're probably going to get very sick of seeing it in my Let's Play videos and Let's Play series, but I honestly think it's probably the best baler in the game at the minute. Unless you're just doing bog standard square bales, you know, just 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 doing like regular square bales all the time. Um, which obviously you can just pump out as fast as anything. The reason I don't do square bales or tend not to do square bales is purely because of the difference in how many you can transport with the in-game, you know, the in-game equipment. Um, the the square bales you can only transport fourteen, I think it is fourteen or sixteen at a time. 
Whereas the round bales, you can transport 24 using the default in-game equipment. I'm not talking about modded trailers or auto load trailers or anything like that. I'm talking about the, 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 the bale loaders that you can buy in the basic game without having to install anything extra. And because of that discrepancy, I mean, you know, eight bales is a lot. You know, if it's eight, if it's the difference between 16 and 24, that's a lot. I mean, these bales are 5,000 litres. Okay. So, the difference between round bales and square bales equates to 40,000 litres. I can carry an extra 40,000 litres of straw, or whatever, doing round bales. You know? That's a lot. You know, if you're trying to be efficient... I know people say, but yeah, you're having, you talked about being efficient, but you're having to drive around the field multiple times now. You're having to do the bailing, and then you, you're having to collect the bales. <laughs> you know, but it's certainly a lot more efficient than doing it with the loading wagon, definitely. And of course that bale would get placed there. Of course it would. Troll me game. The only downside, the only thing I do dislike a little bit about this baler is the fact that unlike the other round balers and that, you don't get the option of choosing different bale sizes. It's only got, it only produces bales of one size and one capacity. And some of the other, obviously, the, the other balers that don't have wrappers built in and that, and like the square balers and the other round balers, they do have the option of increased capacity bales and larger capacity bales, which again is quite nice, because then, you know, when you're transporting bales, if you're transporting big bales that contain more material, that's even better than doing it with a loading wagon. I say, I think loading wagons are useful if you're making silage yourself um, and you're collecting grass and you're going to be compacting it and squishing it, especially with the addition now of the silage additive. It gives you access to, uh, which increases your, your yield of silage by 5%. Um, it's, it's, probably, it's worth doing, rather than just baling it, wrapping it and producing silage bales. You're going to get a little bit more for your money. You're going to get a little bit more out of your, your grass if you do it with the loading wagon with the silage additive. I guess it depends what you're using the silage for. Um, if you are feeding it to animals, primarily, which is kind of what we're using now, what we've been using the silage for here on the server, um, it's better to do it loose. It's better to pick it up loose because you get that 5% bonus with the loading wagon. That 5% increase to your amount, which goes a bit further. If you're just looking to sell silage because you want to make quick money, um, I would say it's probably be you're probably better off bailing it because of the transporting. If you're just going to quickly bail, wrap, wrap a load of bales and then... Um, sell them at the BGA or something it's probably better doing it that way than trying to transport it loose with the loading wagon unless you've got some way of loading loose silage into something else 
a silo or something and then you can load it up into a normal trailer and then use obviously a, a large capacity trailer to quickly transport your silage a bit like i do on how baylor on with the hayloft um, yeah we've got some obviously in, over there at the top of that field we've got some cell points over there we've also got some productions um placed around the map some production buildings which we didn't hadn't really got into using before i restarted the uploaded the new version of the map and um reset the old server but yeah, we've got some placeable, we've got some productions down here. Um, we've got cell points over here. We've got productions and cell port productions and cell points over here and here and here. So, you know, we, we've got a, we've got a fair bit going on. Um, so like I say, the reason for switching from my previous Elm Creek series to this one, um, I'm doing let's plays on this. Uh, and episodes is because I just think there's there's more variety of things for me to be able to do you know when I log into the server there's going to be a lot more things that I'm, I'm capable of being able to do now if I want to spend a day a video just tending to greenhouses um, which I don't know if that would be exciting viewing for people but you know I could spend a day tending to the greenhouses and dealing with the production stuff you know if I want to spend an, an episode looking at my animals taking care of my animals i can do that because we will have all the animals with the exception of horses we still haven't done horses horses are not on my radar in farm sim <clears throat> 22 i don't see a lot of point to doing horses in the game since the whole mechanics have changed on the raising them selling them you know in fs19 doing horses was a, a great way of making really good money because, you know, you got paid ridiculous amounts of money. Oh, getting a bit of server lag. Um, you got paid ridiculous amounts of money for obviously training up the horses and selling them. That's kind of gone in FS22. Um, so... They're not, as pro they're not profitable. They're not profitable anymore, horses. I think people who have horses now in game do so because they are they they're more pets than they're, they're more they're more to be treat like and thought of as pets than a actual commodity. They're a hobby animal, if you like. Much like in real life, they are a hobby animal. They're no longer actually kept for you know, business reasons. <laughs> Apart from, say, maybe the stable owners who are boarding horses and charging people to keep their horses stable, which is how horses were done in seasons in FS19. You ran a stabling where you were paid for keeping horses. That would have been, you know, if, if Giants had gone down that road in FS22, that probably wouldn't have been so bad. Um... Where you got a fee every single day, you got paid a fee every day or every month for keeping the horses alive and in good health. Um, you know that would have been that would have been okay. Um, as as it stands, as they've lost their, you can't sell a horse for fifty thousand bucks anymore or higher. In the case of some mod maps. Um, it's not really worth all the effort that goes into riding them, brushing them, cleaning them, feeding them, watering them, bedding them. <laughs> but we certainly had we had cows. We've done the pigs. We've done, we've been doing sheep. Um, we've been doing chickens, obviously. So we've been doing all that kind of stuff. That's been okay. Mm -hmm. 
some things like the cows and the pigs take a little bit of getting used to, getting your head around. Again, some of the changes that giants have made to the game, particularly in the way you feed the animals. Um, the animal pens have a, a, a set amount of food that can be put into them. And for certainly like the cows and the pigs, you have to divide that amount up by the different types of food that they need. So, for example, like the, like the cows, they, they, they require TMR, um, they require hay, and they require grass. Um, if they, their, 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 their pen, for example, takes, you know, 100,000 litres of food, you've got to split that between 33% TMR, 33% hay, 33% grass. <laughs> you know? Um if you want to do it that way and like with the, with the pigs um, um, the way their pen breaks the food down I think they have like five different food options that you can give them each obviously taking you know 20% of the total food amount so again, when you're putting in your corn and you're putting in your your, your, your your grain and you're putting in your protein and you're putting in your root crops, you've got to divide the total amount that the pig pen will hold by five because you need to evenly balance the different amounts of um, food. And that's, like I say, that's taking a little bit of getting used to because in... Obviously, in FS19, you just used to go and, you know, every single every single food type was its own separate bar, and you could completely fill that up. You know, I mean, like for example, chickens. The chickens are easy because they only have grain, so you, you just put grain in. It's one 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 food type. You just fill that up. It's easy. One bar one food type so you just tip in as much grain as you can until the pen can't hold any more but when you've got to divide the pen up <laughs> when you've got to split that amount between different um food types yeah that requires a little bit more practice that takes like i say that's been taking a little bit of getting used to and then trying to work out, are the animals eating everything at the same rate? Or do, or do they eat one thing more than another? Because in that case, then you might want to put in more of the crop that they, they're eating a load of. Okay, it looks like I have finished baling straw bales. Yeah, I think in here, I've got a farmer's market, we've got a restaurant, and we've got a pizzeria. So we've got three additional sell points that weren't previously on the map. Um, we've also got the S-Mart supermarket over there, so that's another sell point that wasn't previously located on the map. And then we've also got our own spinnery place back there along with what else is in that area back there there's the spinnery and then there's the bakery our own bakery because whilst it's nice to have the productions on the map they only accept so much and the current 
sell points they own it and then they stop buying it's, and it, it, it seems to take ages to process what you've delivered to them so for a long period of time you can't sell any more stuff and it, i did notice on the original elm creek map the giant's elm creek map that that was very limiting not being able to sell like more than 7,000 egg liters of eggs because the bakery gets full and then the bakery takes absolutely ages to consume those 7,000 liters of eggs before you can then sell more right I need the bale collector now which is going to be in the big shed back here so yeah we've got some different slightly different equipment this time around on the map than what we had on the um the the earlier version of the multiplayer save we've obviously got the x9 harvester now instead of the case we've got like i say some different tractors although i've still got i'm still rocking a magnum myself uh, most of the implements and tools are the same we've got a slightly different trailer um because i think it's a little bit easier to handle around cell points uh our cedar's the same we've got a different planter the mower is the same um we've got a different tether and wind rower this time but the rollers are the same the balers are the same the cultivators the same the sprayers the same uh, the plow i think is the same not sure could be wrong Lime spread is the same, fertilizer spread is the same, so some equipment hasn't changed. We've used the same equipment across every version of this map so far and every different save. We have changed it up somewhat this time round. Um, obviously on the server I don't have access to all the mods that I do in single player. I've um, kept the mod, mod limit very low. Um, just so that if people do want to come and play on the server and the server is open for people who wish to play um, I've kept the mod, mod list very light so that people don't have to download millions of mods um, to be able to join and play on the server yeah there are we do have opening there, there are openings for people to play obviously this i think this server supports up to eight players simultaneously at the same time um there's usually only regularly me and one other player so there's normally only like say so that leaves six slots free basically and the server does run 24 hours a day seven days a week it is available so whatever time zone you're in the server is available the server does automatically pause when players log out so you don't have to worry about time advancing continuously and running away and crops getting messed up and fields getting messed up and stuff because the server does pause the game as soon as there are no players on it so yeah if you just want to do some chilled out farming on a nice map um, you're more than welcome to come along and join in I know we had a fellow, a fellow join us at the weekend who was very happy doing mowing and he quite enjoys mowing and doing baling and stuff which is absolutely, you know, this map's ideal for that because we've got you know, a great big grass field up here, we've got a great big grass field here, there's another little grass field down here that we own so we've got three grass fields so if you're into, you really like mowing and that, we've got you covered.
like I say, at the minute, I know straw isn't going to fetch a high price here in August. You'd be better off selling it closer to winter. However, we've got that much of it <laughs> from harvesting all our starting fields that I'm quite happy just to sell it now, just to get rid of it. Um, and honestly, it's better to get a little bit of money for it than to have harvested without dropping the straw. You know, because that would have just been a waste. As as we as we very often can be heard saying on the multiplayer server, um, in, when we're in conversation, sometimes. Just, just selling stuff for a little bit of money rather than losing money or making no money is better than the poke in the eye with an inflatable dartboard. <clears throat> it's better than a poke in the eye with an inflatable chocolate teapot. I did discover, I did learn the other night that that bunker, <coughs> that bunker at the farm is for making silage. <coughs> that wasn't in the previous versions of the map. However, because this map now has compost built into it as a fill type and as a material type, I wondered if that bunker would allow you to have made compost so you could have done composting. <clears throat> which you could then use as fertilizer, an alternative to fertilizer. You know, you could spread it on your field using a manure spreader. But it turns out it's not the case. That bunker is just for making silage at the farm. Um, if you want to make compost, there is a building. Um, is it that one? Composting and wood chipping plant, yeah. So you can get rid of wood at this place and it will turn it into wood chips for you. Um, you can get rid of logs and it turns it into wood chips. And then you can get rid of straw and other materials at the, the composting place and it gives you compost. Which you can use to spread all over your fields instead of chemical fertilizers. Um, instead of manure if you know, manure's hard to come by. Certainly from my experience on the previous <clears throat> version of the map, the cows and the pigs were awfully slow at producing manure and slurry. We did have a slurry spreader and I did start doing a bit of slurry applicating on fields after we'd like harvested and stuff. But I was finding it a bit of an issue due to the size of the fields. These fields are all pretty big on this version of the map. Um, I, 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 we couldn't, I couldn't seem to get enough slurry out of the pigs and the cows. Bear in mind, we had quite a lot of pigs and cows because they were custom pens <clears throat> with raised um, animal limits. So we had a lot of cows and a lot of pigs in each pen. And yet we was getting very little in the way of manure and slurry from them. I don't know if that's something that <clears throat> the map author can fix. Or whether it's a case of we need to wait until we get some custom animal mm. XML type stuff. Um, um, which I've got a I've got my own custom animals XML that I'm using with my maps in single player. <coughs> I'm not gonna tell people how to go about getting that because it's not um, um, the, 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 the actual animals XML that the game uses is actually, <coughs> sorry, my, my throat is playing up now. My voice is going again. Mm, I haven't had any speech and language therapy this week. And I'm starting to maybe regret that if I've done a lot of talking. 
I know I recorded a lot of videos yesterday and did a lot of talking. And I'm probably paying for that today. Um, so apologies if I keep coughing and clearing my throat. Um, I know it's a terrible habit to get into. Um, and I, it's certainly if my speech and language therapist could see me, she would be going hell. Because she tells me not to clear my throat if I feel like there's something in my throat. If I'm starting to have issues, if my vocal cords aren't opening properly or are getting a bit tight and a bit closed, the last thing I should do is cough and clear my throat because that just exacerbates things and makes it much, much worse. What, I, what I'm supposed to do is try and relax, really relax myself, try and reduce the tension in my neck and my throat um, to try and help the muscles <clears throat> which are like contracted to release and I'm supposed to do these exercises as well where I um, I blow bubbles into water I've got this 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 tube this special tube I'm supposed to have like a, a like a cup or bottle of water I'm supposed to just sit here breathing in through my nose and blowing out through the tube which blows bubbles through the water which gives you a bit more resistance when you're blowing out, which helps the um, force forces you to blow out harder, um, which therefore forces the vocal cords open and clears any obstruction in your airway. Um, I've not done that recently. I should probably have done that. Um, and then there's also these other exercises where you do um, you go through naming the days of the week. Um, but with um, breathing in between because again you're only supposed to you're supposed to make sure you breathe in enough air to say what it is you need to say <clears throat> and don't speak to the end of your breath is the thing that she keeps telling me so don't keep speaking till you run out of air you know stop take another breath but anyway that's getting terribly, terribly distracted from everything that's going on. <clears throat> Back to the animals. <laughs> the animals XML, yes. It's contained in a encrypted file, actually. In the um, um, games installation folder. You can't actually get at the animals XML. Unless you're a IT whiz. Who knows how to get around file encryption and unlock things. Um, <laughs> so that's probably why on any mod maps that have come out already for Farm Simulator 22, there hasn't been any like customized animal XMLs. We haven't seen any changes to the, the base game animal stuff or the foods or anything like that. Uh, because I'm guessing most people haven't yet figured out how to access that file to see what for what how it's formatted to then make their own but like i say i have got a copy of that file and i have made some edits to it myself so for example in single player i fully expect my cows and my pigs to make a lot more manure and slurry because i've increased the rate at which they um poop <laughs> for lack of better terms same way with the sheep i gave the sheep in my, in all my single player let's plays it saves my sheep will hopefully bang out a bit more wool than they do in the vanilla game because i don't know if anybody else has noticed but sheep are really bad at making wool currently in farm sim 22 if you do sheep they don't really produce pallets and pallets and pallets like they did in fs19 and certainly from what i've seen giants have dialed that back in fs22 but like I say, I've managed to edit my game file so that hopefully my sh my sheep will produce wool at a slightly fast, a much faster rate. I'm not talking ridiculous, overblown proportions. I'm just you know thinking, let's put it back more on par with um, um, Farm Sim 19, especially as we have. Pens in FS22, you know, the all the vanilla pens in Farm Scene 22 have less animals. 
have less capacity for animals. So you've got less animals producing materials for you. And then if those animals produce at a slower rate as well, it's like a double penalty, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm kind of trying to work my way around that a little bit just to make the game just a little bit more. Again, we all want to make progress. You know, it's, it's a little bit bland if every video you do is kind of like um, Groundhog Day <laughs> with not a lot of progress being made. Um... because you're constantly waiting for other things to happen. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. I think I've waffled on enough for this video. Like I said, this was meant to be a short video to explain why the changes in the map and changes in the Let's Play series. Oh. And why my Elm Creek Alternative Elm Creek has now moved over to this um, map instead, <laughs> and this same. And what is basically going to happen in, in the future is um, you will see on the channel me post videos like this, which are obviously more the traditional Let's Play style, where I come on the map and I just, you know, spend a day doing some farming, doing some tasks. And then there'll probably be some like stream highlight videos where you know once I, if i do a multiplayer stream where i feel like we've done you know some interesting stuff um and that then i'll i will bring the vod of the stream over obviously depending on what occurs in the stream and you know depending on if i obviously if i've had like music and stuff in my stream which I sometimes do in live streams. I probably can't export that to YouTube for copyright reasons. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But yes. I want to thank everyone who has watched the series up to now. And I know there's probably going to be people who are a little bit disappointed that I've changed, changed map after 20 episodes and we're now on a completely different map and a completely different save and everything's changed and everything's different but I'm hoping people are going to enjoy seeing what effectively is a more more functional farm a much more functional farm where we've actually got stuff in place we've got the infrastructure in place in regards you know we've got buildings we've got sheds we've got animal pens and everything We've got productions, we've got stuff that we can actually do, use and make um, make progress with, you know. So, folks, on that bombshell, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. And like I say, if you have enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. Please leave me comments in the comment section down below. And uh, share this video with everyone you can, everywhere you can. I will see you all again very, very soon. But for now, from me, it's goodbye.